Next up is going to be the brand new Hallmark film. I have three Hallmark reviews, and this one is not out yet. This one is available on Hallmark Movies now, but it is not aired on Hallmark Channel. So this is a bit of a early review, I guess, for Falling in Love in Niagara. Falling in Love in Niagara is the brand new film starring jo Jocelyn Hudden. I believe it's Jocelyn Hudden. And this movie intrigued me because I'm a massive fan of her. I really enjoy her films. She is an actress who delivers every single time I've seen her in a film. Her performances are great. She was just in, just in a film uh, earlier in January, I believe, called Romance with a Twist. I enjoyed that film too. This movie delivers. This movie delivers on every level it needs to. It's a spring film that takes place in Niagara Falls. What else do you need? You're going to give, you will get to see the Niagara Falls, but it's the chemistry between these two stars here. After her fiance leaves her before their wedding, Madeline, played by J Jocelyn Hudden, goes to Niagara Falls to honeymoon without him. There, she reconnects with her adventurous side and learns to let go and find new love. Played by Dan here. And Dan's name in the movie is Mike. Mike and Madeline have phenomenal chemistry in this movie. I love the chemistry. The best chemistry I have seen thus year so far with a Hallmark film. But that's not saying a whole lot because this has been a weaker year for Hallmark, unfortunately. Being a massive fan, a massive fan of these films. I want these films to be phenomenal every single time. They are not supposed to be these deep stories with rich characters and deep storytelling with the meaning of life in them. All these films are supposed to be as a nice, lighthearted escape from the world. Civil War does give you an escape from the world, but it gives you a scary look at what the world could become if we don't change. What this film does... It is. It, it delivers a phenomenally done, phenomenally done story all about these two people just falling in love and trying to let your love, uh, tr trying to cope, right? Just trying to cope with what love is, coping from a different love. I loved what this movie did. Jocelyn does a great job. So does Dan, but the cinematography and the chemistry is what makes this film. That's not saying that it doesn't have a couple flaws here. Once we get to the climax of the film, that's where a lot of Hallmark films struggle. If you give me a film where you are going to bring in uh, the former love, we've seen this many, many times, right? If you're a Hallmark viewer, you know this. The Hallmark films bring in, oh, hey, the ex wants me back. The ex wants me back because of this, this, and this. Not going into spoilers on this film, but we get that here. And that's where the film really starts to just get lower on the graying scale. I enjoyed this movie overall. But with that being said, this movie should have been a lot better and not brought in the cliched moment of bringing the X in. I am a massive, a massive fan of Hallmark Channel. But, if you're going to do that, give me something like a Three Wise Men and a Baby. A former love who is barely in the film, but you build upon that. Instead of just, hey, I'm falling in love with this guy over here, and this guy over here who I used to be engaged with is now a part of this story. Why? Because drama. That's lazy storytelling. That's lazy storytelling. We've seen them in soap operas for 30, 40 years now. But overall, I really did enjoy this film. I enjoyed this a lot. It's one of the best Hallmark films of the entire year. If we wouldn't have had the mind-numbingly stupid decision to bring in the ex and what they do with that character, he's a wasted character at the end of the day because... If you're not going to use him, he's not likable. We don't like him from the very start. So why are we going to care about what's going to happen when we already know what the ending is going to be? Jocelyn makes this movie worth it. And so does Dan. But the X in this film just ruins it. That storyline ruins it. I enjoyed this. I wanted to give this a four and a half out of five. And yes, I, I don't review these films like I review a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or a Cruella or a... 
uh, a civil war. These are different types of films because I'm looking for comfort, but I'm also reviewing a very easy film. I enjoyed this one overall. The best film of the entire year from Hallmark gets a four out of five from me.